what you're looking at is a sheet of magnet four inch by four inch square and the, the previous test has been done with this with the, the Starship coil. I don't know if you can see that circle. When you actually remove the uh, film, the, the, the image drops by about two-thirds. So we're going to actually redo it. But if you can see, we've got the dark center and the white ring around it. And how you erase this uh, to use it over again is to uh, just use uh, either a, a Starship with an AC uh, uh, coil on or just uh, this I'm just going to use an N52 stack of magnets and just wipe it all over there and it's completely demagnetized. So we're ready for um, our first the magnetic test. The first uh, magnetic field we're going to map is going to be a classic Roden. This one is uh, 24 turns. We're going to be using just one field and I'm going to place the MagnaView film on top okay and I'm going to turn the power on we're going to be running about uh, 15 volts at about 2 amps and if you'll notice you really don't see anything uh, the rodent does not have a very strong magnetic field uh, either at the top or bottom where is it then it is concentrated in the center a very thin line uh, is where the magnetic field is. so how do we map that we're going to take the magna. Uh, I'm going to get on the other side here so I can turn the switch on. What we're going to do is take this and we're going to put this film inside the. Try to do this with one hand on and one hand off. Okay. Like so. We're going to try to map it just like so. Okay. And I'm going to turn the power on and off. Okay, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to see here, but there's a thin line going right here. You see a white line on the left. I wish this type of paper was more uh, uh, brilliant in showing this. But the rodent coil has all its magnetic field concentrated right in the center because it's a radial wound coil. Okay, now we're going to uh, see this, the field of this uh, stacked uh, N52 neonium magnet. And obviously you'll see when you put the thing over, you see that black spot? Okay, and if you raise it up, you're going to see the dots spread out. And that's the magnetic field shown in that magnet. This would be what the magnetic field would look like of each one of those magnets. And of course it's curved around and everything. Okay, this time we're going to do the same test as we did with the road. Remember, we didn't see any uh, magnetic field indicated by the uh, MagnaView paper. Now, remember, there is a magnetic field, but it was not strong enough to activate the paper. Now, we're going to do the same thing with a Starship. This is the very first one I made. It's 21 turns, 22 gauge wire, 12 pedals. I'm going to lay it on top, and I'm going to turn the power supply on. Look at that. Look at that okay and there we can go ahead and raise it up and you're going to see that it doesn't spread out like the magnet look at that it doesn't spread out whatsoever so that vortex is formed straight up and down the same uh, exists for the opposite side of the coil now turn the power off and you saw the image fail or, or fade away a little bit okay now, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go ahead and demagnetize that, that uh, sheet there, or not demagnetize. Well, yeah, it is demagnetized. Okay. And I'm going to coil this in, inside the Starship. I'm going to do it the same way as we did the rodent. Okay. And I'm going to turn it on. And I don't know if you can see if I get centered there. I can see it, the field shown on the thing on the uh, paper there. But I'm gonna turn it off, okay? And there's a much more pronounced. Can you see the white, which would be right dead in the center, and you see the huge black on both sides? Um, let me move this up to center a little bit, okay? Now, the next test is a smaller starship, and this proves Marco Roden's statement that size of the coil doesn't matter 
it's how many turns you have. The only thing is the size of the coil would, would be made if you had to a certain size, if you had a, a, an armature that was either very tiny or very large, you'd want to have as big a magnetic field. So the, the diameter of the Starship coil uh, determines the actually the diameter of the vortex. I have uh, my four inch uh, Starship coil on the left, the copper uh, uh, enamel, you can see why it's, it's a reddish uh, coating. And next it is the uh, smaller, I believe this was three and a half or three and three quarters. Uh, you'll see the vortex hole is smaller, but you can definitely see it's a smaller coil. Uh, as we're going to see here in just a second, it's going to have the same magnetic uh, strength in the vortex. And I'm going to turn it on, and again, you right away see that huge pattern. And I, I turned it off, and it fades just a little bit. Turn it on. Okay. And we will demagnetize this like we've done before. I'm surprised you can use a permanent magnet to do this that well. Okay, I'm going to insert this like I did before inside. I want to try to get this so you can see it inside the thing here. I'm going to turn it on. I can see it darken right there, but it might be hard to see in the video. Turn it off. And there is, you can see the white line with the, that would be right in the center of the Starship coil and the black on both sides is the uh, magnetic field uh, vertically or of, the, of the vortex. I'll try to uh, do a false color enhancement of these uh, shots so you can possibly get a little bit better uh, appreciation of what's going on. What I've also found is that current isn't as important as voltage and so uh, though current does have a, a thing to do with it, it's not as great. Now let me see if I can do this magic shot. I'm going to hold down the thing here. Let's see if we can do it again, flip it again. Okay, well actually it levitate. Well it's levitating, let me just show you. I can drop the voltage down, you can see it, you can see it turn. Uh, I can drop the current down and boy it hardly makes any difference until it's almost no current. So right there, uh, it's about the same and I'm going to try to get a reading on that. Uh, it's about an amp. One, let me get the power turned up. Yay, right. we got it done. It did. Okay, neat trick. Okay, if you remember, the rotom coil doesn't even move the magnet. So here is a, I think, a lot more scientific uh, proof that the vertical stack winding, based on the rodent math, I remember this is a rodent design, just a, it's an alternative, uh, has superior magnetic vertical vortex. Uh, however, the rodent may have very, very important uh, uses with that very fine magnetic line in the center. So I hope you enjoyed this.